Hi there, thanks for joining us. I'm Chris McKinnon with the WBZ News Update. Search teams in Chelmsford have found the body of a 16-year-old girl missing after a jet ski crash on the Merrimack River. Last night, she was riding on the back of her boyfriend's jet ski when another jet ski hit them from behind. The solo operator was hurt and is now facing several charges, including OUI. Boston police are investigating a deadly shooting in Roxbury. Officers rushed to the scene on Mount Pleasant Ave just after 11.30 last night. Police tell us one of the victims is a man in his 30s, and he died from his wounds. The second victim is a man in his 40s, and he has non-life-threatening injuries. So far, no arrests have been made. Police in Manchester, New Hampshire, charged a woman with OUI, saying they found her passed out behind the steering wheel with a five-year-old boy sleeping in the back seat. Investigators say Alyssa Lombardi was parked at a gas pump for more than an hour with an open can of alcohol beside her and three bags of heroin in her purse. A family member picked up the little boy. And if you bought Eclipse glasses from Amazon, you may need to find a backup. The online retail giant is offering refunds, saying the glasses might not come from a recommended manufacturer. NASA's website has a list of reputable vendors selling certified solar eclipse glasses to keep your eyes safe during the August 21st. Eclipse. Now let's check in with meteorologist Pamela Gardner for a look at our forecast. Hey, Pamela. Hey there. A beautiful day today with filtered sunshine, a sea breeze, and high temperatures in the low to mid 80s. And the good weather lasts overnight tonight. Partly cloudy, 66 for that low. Light breeze from the south. Humidity starts to inch up just a little bit as we have a couple systems heading our way. There's one stationary frontal boundary that will interact with tropical storm Gert, and it now has max wind speeds of 60 miles per hour. So as it continues its track north and then turning northeast between Bermuda and and the northeastern U.S. is going to strengthen to a Category 1 Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. As that interacts with the little bit of moisture along that stationary front, well, it could bring some isolated shower potential to southeastern Mass. Otherwise, it's just going to be the offshore issues. Five to six foot waves just off the south coast with tropical storm as it passes to our south. And a rip current risk, too, along those south facing beaches. This is again Tuesday night into Wednesday. There are those few showers that will interact with tropical storm Gert to our south. And those showers will eventually dissipate and move offshore. But Tuesday evening, we'll still have a few clouds lingering across the outer Cape and Islands. While to the north and west, there's a cold front moving in, giving us the chance for an isolated pop up thunderstorm before sunset. Tuesday, not a complete washout. It'll be a mix of clouds and sun for most. And then we get hot for Wednesday, near 90 degrees. Chris? All right, Pelman, thank you very much. I'm Chris McKinnon. This has been a WBZ News Update. Thanks so much for joining us. Have a great day.